This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I am outside my lab, and I'm going to collect some just raw dirt from right outside my lab. I've got uh, this little drainage area from this parking lot, and we see the lighter kind of tan color sand, and then over here we've got some nice soil. It looks like some rich soil for growing things. And then uh, around here somewhere I'll find next is that really red clay and I'll get some sandy clay stuff as well. So let's go ahead and gather some of this stuff and we will just strain it. This. That way we're avoiding a bunch of rocks and stuff. Just want to get that sand. Now let's get some of this darker stuff too. <clears throat> All right, that's pretty nice. So now I've got a combination of that light sand dark dirt. Now let's go look for some red clay. All right, here is that red Texas clay. I had to dig a drain and this was this red clay that was just feet and feet thick. So, it's full of rocks, but let's see if we can break some of that stuff up here and just get some of this red clay. Crush it up too, it's pretty thick stuff. <laughs> now we got a lot of iron in there with this stuff. All right, that looks pretty good. Mix this up. We got a nice, nice combination in there, I think. All right, so I think just with this, I would like to know what's going to happen if we run current through this um, dry and wet. So let's get back in the lab. All right, so I've cleaned this out a bit. Since we have AC over here, what I'd like to try, which I think might be fun, maybe you guys would find it fun, maybe you wouldn't. I like to have fun doing stuff, so um, let's do this. Let's see if we can, we, we're going to have to have an arc available first of all. There we go. There's our arc gap, right? Cool. So. Let's try, I've, I've got a pinch full of this sand. I'm gonna hold it up above, probably about 10 inches. Turn this on and let's just drop this sand in there and see what happens. Yeah, I like this idea. Still just sprinkling the sand down on top. Oh, 
I put it out. Definitely is uh, blackened in that area, that's for sure. air pressure from the sand dropping is pushing that arc out. That smells kind of nice. It smells real earthy. So what I think is cool about this is that whole area where the arc is has oxidized and that's why it's turned red. It's not a sorting of the red dirt that was already in there, but that just goes to show maybe where we find red dirt in geology that there was an electrical influence in that area, right? Maybe, maybe so. Am I crazy? Of course I am, but you might just be crazy too. It's usually the crazy ones that are the most sane. I now have uh, a squirt bottle. I got a nice spray mist. So now let's do this. I'm gonna turn on the arc. Oh. Let's move it a little bit closer. I think I started making a, a fulgurite in there. Not sure. Let's look and see. No, not quite. Still not getting an arc. What's going on? The gap is too far now. Oh, because yes, look, it did make a little fulgurite on the tip here. Yeah, it did harden harden that little piece up, but I just crumbled it with my fingers. So here, let's just set this back down. Come on. Come on. There we go. Can we get an arc? There we go. Perfect. Now... While it's red hot, let's mist down some rain from above. It's gotten super red hot. See, water is the catalyst. Man, it's so bright, I, I can't look at it with my eyes directly. It's so bright. Wow, it's like a welder's arc. Spray it again. this and it definitely looks like it's pulled all of the material from this gap and it built it up right here oh look at that we did make a fulgurite Let's see if I can get it in here uh, without disturbing it there we go where you go come on look at this little guy and there we have it there is a little fulgurite that I just made. It's really hard. Let's do this again. I'm gonna just drop those over here on the side since I just destroyed that. Let's um, try to arc again. Hmm. 
just sprinkle some more on top with that arc so close. Let's see if we can even cover it up this time. So what happens if there's a current underground that just keeps going and soil is piling on top? What happens then? Let's see what happens. Maybe could we form a concretion? That would be super cool. Well, since it's not a flame, it doesn't need oxygen. We can cover it up. All right, let's see what happens here. Maybe making a little mini volcano. <laughs> That'd be super cool. That smells good. That is a very nice, earthy, smoky smell. Man. Almost make some barbecue out of that, that smell. All right, well, we see that it is definitely blackening under there. Seems like it started, it's popping every once in a while. Is it just my mind, or do I see a hexagonal shape there? Do you guys see a hexagon? All right, we're gonna sprinkle some more on top. And this time, let's hit it with some water. It's out. Let's try to strike it again. Can't tell if anything is going on underneath, but I do still see smoke coming out.
All right, here's what I'll do. Let's kill this. Let's dig this up, see if I've made anything. And then let's uh, have one of these electrodes arc to this surface and see what happens. All right, turned it off. Let's move this guy out of the way. And do we have anything underneath here? Oh. Did indeed make another fulgurite. And I can see that little hollow shell in the middle, and it's really shiny. See that little silica vein go down the middle. Let's see. Here's my little fulgurite. All right, so let's just put this stuff back over here, like so. All right. All right, I'll have one just down in the middle. What we'll do is cover it with fresh stuff on top. And I'll have this little guy holding up his arm here. All right, there's gonna be the gap. Hope that'll work for us, let's try it out. See what happens if I sprinkle some down on it.
And I think I'm going to shoot it with some water. I'm going to get a little bit more focus on, on this one. Maybe not. I'll have to go. Oh, well, hey, look what we've exposed under there. Saw a nice big hard nugget under there that's formed. Oh, that's cool. Let me just let that do its thing for a minute. Try sprinkling some more on there. So, if there was an electric discharge and there was lots of dirt blowing up in the air from crazy storms. Obviously, the discharge would have to be persistent in one area. But, as I'm starting to see from this, all this other stuff that could be deposited and blow away would still leave the area where the discharge was happening with all that material fused together. see that little core in there. Alright, let's turn this off and look at what we just made right there. Super hot. Still a red ball. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> let's take this guy out. Here, I want to show you the uh, before I disturb it. the angle it built up at. It's here. Alright, so let's dig it out. It looks super hot. pretty hot. I barely tapped it and I can feel it. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Is there anything else down here? Yeah, there was some spots way down below that hardened up, but this is what I'm after right here. Can't touch it yet. Oh, oh, it's still hot. Oh, still super hot. Ah, okay. Oh, I can feel the heat coming out. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, it's hot. Just want to observe it here, buddy. Come on. Okay. Here we go. So you can see all the silica right there. Look at all that. And... Ignore my fingernails. I've been digging in the dirt. But, uh, look here. So looks like you can see that the two filament areas like twin filaments if you will in and out Ooh, that sand is hot here's the test I'm gonna spray it and see does it dissolve this stuff or 
did it actually vitrify together? So that's washed off. That is all fused together. That's all the silica in that sand that fused together. So it wasn't high amperage. This is high voltage. High amperage would do that in an instant, fuse these things together. But you have a high voltage, low amperage. Over time, it can crystallize stuff. Or over time, it can fuse things together. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right, well, biggest fulgurite I've made. Not as cool as Benjamin Hyde's, but I think he was also using uh, DC voltage, which DC would change what the uh, little Lichtenberg patterns look like on each end. So maybe I should try this again next time with my bridge rectifier. I'm not gonna do any of that right now. What I do wanna do right now is see if I can get this to just arc across the top. I just want it to... do a Lichtenberg across the top. That would be awesome. Can we do that? Can we just do that? The secret to that is the surface being wet. You need to have a dielectric, so generally a, a lower surface level that's wet, and then the upper surface has condensation on it. I can jump across that way. Let's see what happens with this for a minute. Yeah, I got an idea. I'm gonna take this piece of a loom that uh, got baked in that last experiment. And let's just crush that up a little bit on top and see, does that change the dynamic of this at all? I'm gonna take that big piece out. I don't like that big piece. There. We'll just leave it like that, how about that? Give it a spray. I don't think the alum is doing much difference. Here, I've got some powder still. Nope.
now, I am going to add some synthetic black iron oxide. I'm just gonna let this drizzle over the top. There we go. It like that. Some iron shavings up in there. Nice. Iron made the dragon super happy. So we've got some conductive metal added in there. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna spray it. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going to anyway. There's some big heat coming off of this too. If you could see it from the side, there's like a, an arch in the middle. It's more like a, a peak. Let's see if I can get you a Not as dramatic as it was a minute ago. I need to find my microscope. It's around here somewhere. Still haven't fully unpacked everything. I'm going to now spread some more of this sand mixture on top. You know what, let's shoot it with some more water.
pretty stinky. All right, so that's it for this round. See some spherules that were made there on top. This thing's probably gonna be real hot. All right, and that is what we just made. Oh, oh, see the stuff sticking to it. Oh, it's hot, it is hot. There's one. It kind of fell apart. This nice little guy. There's the bottom, huh? Here's a fulgurite we made. Woo, 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 it's hot. That one's pretty cool looking. That's pretty neat right there. I like that. I'll set that one aside. Another little chunk. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a nice little fulgurite right, right there. That's cool. Oh, oh, there's another one right there. Look at that guy. That's pretty cool. There's a little fulgurite guy. Oh, there's another one. Nice little filament. Oh, there's another piece. Made a bunch with this one. Another one. Forms pretty fast if you have the right materials. Yeah, there's a couple little pieces in here. There we go. All right, I got that one out. All right, well, I don't think I got them all, but you know what? I got most of them. Oh, here's a big one. Jeez. Cool. That was fun. So here's all my little fulgurite pieces that I just made. So that's mixing soil, alum, synthetic black iron oxide, and water. And bam, I got some fulgurites. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm still not to the uh, windblown mountain building process yet. Still gonna try to work on that one. All right, hopefully soon. Toodaloo.